Hey everyone, let's talk about how we can use SQL insert statements to insert information into our SQL database. We're using Python connector here, so we have a little bit of Python code to connect to our database. Then we'll talk about SQL insert statements. To connect to our database, we have a little bit of code that I will copy over and explain. So what we're doing here is this is a Python library that will allow us to connect to a publicly hosted DB. And we do that by filling in the credentials here. So each of these are information that pertains to my database. Wayscript is a environment that we're building this all into and they provide to us a secrets manager. So I can just use os.environ.get to get that information from my dot secrets file. This is all we need to connect to our DB. And if any of this doesn't make sense, we have another video that will be linked in the description that shows you where to get all this information from your database. Now that we have the connection set up, let's talk about how we can start inserting information using SQL insert statements. With our connection to our DB, a common way to do this is to create a cursor. So we'll say my cursor equals our connection to the DB and there is a method called cursor. Now we can begin writing our SQL statements. We'll talk about how we can do three different ones. So the first one is if we want to insert information into every column of our table. So we'll say something like SQL and then we'll put in our statement. So we will say insert into the table name. Mine is called customers. Then we'll say the data. So insert into customers and we'll create the same number of values as there are columns in my table. My customers table just has names and addresses. So we'll say something like John and some address. All right. Once we have that, what we'll do is we'll drop down one line and we'll say my cursor dot execute. We'll use this method called execute to execute our SQL. Since we're adding information into a table, one specific thing we need to do with this Python library is we need to say my DB dot commit. So this is the first way we can use an insert statement is if we want to insert information into every column in our table, then we can just write something that looks like this. In the next example, we'll insert information only into certain columns and we'll use column names to do that. And I'll show you. So once we have all of this, we'll save the file. And now to execute it, we first need to install our libraries. And this environment, if you want to use WayScript as well, will be linked down below so you can just clone it. And all the code will be linked on GitHub too, so you can go there and get it. So pip3, install, we'll just read in the requirements.txt. Don't worry if you don't understand any of that. That is just Python installing the library that we're using. Now we'll say python insert.py. Once we do that, we get nothing back because we're not asking for anything, but we have inserted that information into our DB. Now let's talk about another way that we can write an SQL statement. I will comment these lines out and we'll go through this again. So now let's say that our table had more columns, but we only needed the same information. So let's say that we only want to put information into the columns that we specify. We can say something like SQL, we'll use an insert into customers, and now we can specify the columns. Our columns in this case, we'll use the same ones. So we have name, an address and we'll do something that looks like this. So values and we'll use this. And what this is saying is we'll insert the values here. So our values will just be whatever we want them to be. We'll create a tuple Python tuple. So we used John and one, two, three main street in our previous one. So let's use Mike and then we'll do something like four five, six main street. In our execute statement, how we have here, we'll just copy this and paste it. And we'll have another argument where we want to execute this SQL, but we want to insert our values into these. So we'll pass that here. Again, since we are committing information to our DB, we'll make sure that we have that commit. And now we will run this again. So we just inserted information into our database using column names. So now let's say that we have a bunch of different entries that we want to include inside of our database. We don't want to go through one by one and add them like this. 
what we can do instead is we can use a list of tuples. So here's our list in Python that's square brackets. We can put comma and add in however many tuples we want. So now that we've changed all of that, our cursor method would be slightly different. Instead of execute, we will say execute many. Now that we have this, let's go ahead and run our script one more time, Python insert.py, and we've inserted multiple records at once into our DB. And that's a few ways that we can insert information into our database. We can insert information without column names if we want to fill in every single column of our table. We can insert information into specific columns, and we can insert information into specific columns many times over. So if there's any questions, please let me know, and I'll be happy to help. Until next time.